very good morning to you. Thank you so much for being part of Y254. This is Power Talk. And my name is Ram Maguko. As always, it is a pleasure being with you each and every Thursday. Uh, remember, we are coming to you live from the broadcasting house here in Nairobi, Kenya. We are also streaming live through our website. That is at www.kbc.co.ke forward slash Y254. Engage with us. We value your feedback. Let us know where you're watching us from, and we shall sample your comments as we continue with this morning conversation. So today, we have a conversation about countering of fighting violent extremism and radicalization in, can in the country and in Kenya as we know it. So what is it that we need to do to stop these events of radicalization? How can we counter it? Extremism. We've seen it being said. We've seen reports come out that, oh, you know what? The country is uh, uh, receiving this number of people who are joining this particular group. These people we are seeing uh, are pl planning this, are planning that. According to statistics, there is a terror attack that's supposed to take place at this time, on this date, in this country. How can we stop it? On Powder today, we want to find out the root cause of this. Are you a parent? Have you been in a position where you just realize that your son is a terrorist? How can you stop it? Let's call it as it is. Let's mention it as it is. How can you stop it? And how can you know what's going on with your child? Today, we want to put this into perspective. Countering violent extremism and radicalization in the country. And to my extreme right, I'm joined by none other than Michael Kimondo. He is uh, uh, an organizer from Lenga Ugaidi, uh, Natalanta. Karuta Mike. Thank you so much. You're well? Yes, I am. Thank you so much for coming. I'm glad to be here. No, no, Manika Pokotia Lego Lego Gadia Pokotia Tia Posa. This is a Lego Gadi in Atalanta. Yeah. Yes. Uh, is it, that, that's a camera. Yes, Apple. it is. Okay. I'll explain it later. <laughs> oh, girl, all right. Uh, and of course, you've seen her. Next to me is uh, Anna Mukami, also an organizer from Women uh, Against uh, Terrorism. Karim Sana Hana. Ram. You're well. Very happy to be here. Very happy. Kabisa. Looking good. Thank you so much. No, no, you, you, but your shirt is different from his. Huh? Yako, yes, huh? you know, it, being a woman, I have to be better at things. So. <laughs> but do we say? <laughs> but do we say? Engage with us. The hashtag is Power Talk Show at Ram Maguko is where you can be able to engage with me at Y254 is the official station handle. Let us know where you're watching us from and what you think about this. How can we stop this particular turn of events? Because we need youths who are, uh, you know, going towards the direction that we want them to go to. We don't want to be caught off guard. And these things are happening as we know it. And that's why right here on Power Talk, we want to keep you updated and educated so that you can be able to find out what you need to do and what you need to look out for. But before we get into the nitty gritties, uh, I want us to define these terminologies, these two terminologies, because we may be talking about extremism and radicalization at Nashanga. Let's define them. And uh, let me start with you, Mike. Yes. To Kiongea Kusu extremism and radicalization. Mm -hmm. And, uh, uh, you know, for somebody who may not be able to understand mm -hmm. what we are talking about, just in the layman's language, what is it? Um, extremism is basically use of, or rather, beliefs that are on the extreme end. For example, beliefs yeah. that are, well, let's take an example of maybe um, what is happening. You know, most people have this stereotype mm -hmm. that Muslims are the ones who are terrorists. Yes. That is not true. Mm -hmm. It's certain individuals who have extreme views and have taken extreme views to achieve a certain agenda. Uh -huh. Now that is extremism. Extremism could even happen in Christianity. You'd, okay. you'd even look at it from the Uganda perspective of it, uh, mm -hmm. LRA. Mm -hmm. That was extremism. Mm -hmm. So it's not, it's, extremism is not defined in religion only. Uh -huh. It is just extreme views and ideologies mm -hmm. forced into people. So it, it's not something that is, uh, do we say acceptable? Do you no. use the word acceptable? It's not acceptable because you don't have to force me to do something or believe in certain agendas. The thing is, you're forcing me to do something because you're trying to achieve a certain agenda. Yeah. It could be political. Uh -huh. It could be, mostly it's usually political. 
Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you, 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 you thought on that? I love what he said. At he, at he, when you see a Muslim, <laughs> you know, sometimes I, I've even seen it in movies, and I, I've also seen so many comedians have made this mm -hmm. joke. Mm -hmm. You see a Muslim somewhere, and then you just see some terrorism, so some terrorist who is uh, about to do something. There was a joke of some people who, uh, it wasn't a joke, it was a movie. It was a serious. It was a series, yeah? Mm. Yeah, and, 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 and uh, I, I'm looking at this, and it is actually true that when we see some particular religion, we associate them with tourists. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Unfortunately, that is sad, but true. Because uh, these stereotypes, is, uh, stereotypes are what we are trying to fight and raise awareness against. Yeah. Because uh, terrorists are just a small group of people who have misconceptualized their, their, their ideologies they believe in to mm. shape them to suit their specific needs that they want. Yeah, yeah. In the case of a group like Al Shabab, we have seen them uh, recruit people from uh, from e like vast backgrounds. Mm -hmm. Whether you are poor, whether you are pastoralist, whether you are educated, we have and seen they don't them care do about that. The age also. They do not care about the age. Unfortunately, children as as young as six, we have seen them on their army fronts. And you're mm -hmm. thinking a six-year-old should be in school, actually drawing and painting with their fingers. Yeah. But that yeah. that's what they are doing. They are given mm -hmm. a gun and encouraged to shoot. And this is what is called extremism. Yeah, the and adoption of those views. That <laughs> is what is extremism. Mm -hmm. But now when it comes to terrorism, it is now what we see. Mm. What we see. People have have made those beliefs come become so much part into them. Mm. They sympathize, they want to support these groups, they want to finance these groups because they have been made to believe that whatever they are supporting, whatever they are doing is what is right. Mm. Into for their for their cause for their to address their grievances, but there are other peaceful ways to address all the grievances that we have. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. And this this whole extremism, radicalization, radicalization. We don't define radicalization. It's now bringing people yes. together. Radicalization is actually the process uh. of actually making a terrorist. Uh -huh. Yes, and uh -huh. um, I could put uh, radicalization. It actually has a process in terms of. Mm. Um, you are first recruited, mm -hmm. and then you are indoctrinated, mm -hmm. and then finally, you are now taken to the field. You now wield a gun. You now wow. you are now trying to execute the agendas of the Al Shabab. Mm -hmm. That's radicalization, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it it knows no um, it knows no religion, no gender, and no age. Those watching from home, have you ever asked yourself or wondered why some people who you thought they are close friends, you thought they are, the, the, you know, Nijiraniyakutu, all of us are on a TV, person of interest. Huh? Uh, like in the case of Ali, Sal Ali Salim, who was the mastermind behind Dusit D2, yeah. what the neighbor said, he, wo he, he kept to himself, he came, mm -hmm. went into his house and left. Up until the Dusit 2 attack, mm -hmm. that is when it hit them like, oh, like, we know this guy. And they he were together for so house. many, so many mm -hmm. months. So many months, they were, that was just their neighbor. That is somebody's child. They probably disappear and you're thinking, anaishi tu maisha yake uko inje. Follow, people are normally we encourage parents, mm -hmm. especially now during this time, watoto wa mefunga shule, mm -hmm. we encourage parents. Know who they are hanging out with. Mm. Know what they are doing. Know what they are doing doing on their phones. Kwa yeah. sababu, even there's online radicalization, which is so rampant. Yes. Na hujui mtoto wako anafanya nini? Ujui games enye na cheza. And I love the I, I, I love what you've said there because that's actually what I want us to touch on. There, um, as I said earlier, you are at home and you've seen somebody, all of a sudden they are making headlines, person of interest, and you never knew that they were actually there. So how can we, the common man, the common man, be able to distinguish and, and, and pick out that, you know, there's something going on with this child, with this guy, uh, there is some, some, something wrong here. Is it possible for somebody to notice it, and how can they notice it? Uh, let me come to you, and, 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 and then I come to you, Hannah. Yes. Okay. Um, Terrorism doesn't have a face. What do you mean? What, what, I, mean, what I mean by that is, uh, uh. I cannot speculate that somebody is a terrorist. It's observation. You observe, okay. you observe, you observe change, change in character. For example, okay. if, if I could see my friend, hypothetically, mm. I see my friend on telly and 
he is now a wanted terrorist. Mm. There are signs mm. to where it led to him being a terrorist. For example, um, he used to watch TV. Now, it, apparently, it's haram. Uh, maybe he's... What do you mean when you say haram? Like it's not acceptable. Okay. Like you're, you're getting so much influence from the West mm. and uh, you forget, you know, what you've been taught by. Ch change in behavior. Exactly. It's change in behavior. So it's, it's like a process. You're indoctrinated into it. Mm -hmm. So there are things you used to do. One, you could also say that um, being excluded from society. Mm. You're once this person who was very vocal. Now you are shunning out of, you know, you are not accepting things that society are doing. You are not accepting maybe even politics. Mm. You are saying it's a waste of time. Mm. So it's it's drast it's drastic change in character. Yeah. But it's also a process. By it's the time you are getting there to be a terrorist, yeah. you have gotten you have come from different certain stages. Yes. But but then you have to be really close to somebody to, to be able to notice these true changes. True. Yeah. Then it, 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 how, how, okay, uh, well, let me get from you. How do you pick it up? Uh, we call them the early signs of radicalization. So it is easy to identify them, for, especially for us women, it is yeah. very easy to identify things like behavioral changes with your children, husband or boyfriend. It is very easy. Someone like Mike cannot, may not be able to, <laughs> to figure it out. <laughs> yeah. You know, for him, like him identifying like behavioral change in a woman yeah. and as, and as a, some act, like mood swings. Yeah. But Kuna Cindy, be uh, that's what I'm wondering. Mm. Because, mm -hmm. because you must be really close to somebody. Cindy, uh. because Kwasababu with, with, with terrorism, yeah. in Anzanga too, Nika, like radicalization is a learning process, as Mike has said. Yeah. You start learning, you introduce you to Nikama, let us call it car poison. You mm. introduce you to Kidogo Kidogo, or Unona Venya Kuna Indanga, Nijuya Hill. And you're like, yeah, but then this makes sense. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. they will give you a problem and a solution, and then at the and that at that time you're just learning and adopting these these views, these ideologies of theirs. Unanza mm -hmm. sa is of you to like you start separating from people who were once your childhood friends. Utaki kuhanao anymore. Things you used to do, you stop mm -hmm. doing them just yeah, because yeah. like. Una, like in a inanga tu in a process like unenda tu ukipanda ukipa like a ladder then you go climbing up you go adopting these these views and people who are close to you even your community come mm. upon a football team of course people are going to see and like hey nani akujangi balls kuizi rama lienda wapi mm. but ala waju wakijulize za maswali it is their role wa intervene waju alienda wapi anafanya nini akona babeshto agani wamkia but yeah. mm -hmm. people don't actually care about what's happening with the rest. Mm -hmm. But that's the problem with us now. You only shida, you only, you only shida iko. Because we have to, we have, kitambo mtoto alikuwa wa kijiji. Yeah. Eh, Sikuzi kila mtu pagat. Lakini sasa, tukifanya iko kila mtu. Utakufana shida yako. You yeah. are going to hear your neighbor become like an attack you on a wezi. Alafu, utadhani like you're safe. No. Mm -hmm. Ni me attack. You are, even you go make a report, my neighbors were attacked by thieves last night. If you see something suspicious, if you hear anything suspicious, say something. Mm -hmm. Na bahati sahi, there is like law enforcement, wame, wame letter his or like the DCA, wakona yo, ni hashtag ya fichua kwa DCA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, it's uh, uh, it's on, on, on Twitter. Yeah, and he messaged me to me. Kwa sababu, mm -hmm. anonymously, watu wanaeza report his vitu. We are being able to create like a whole mass awareness of issues that are affecting us. On matters terrorism, that awareness, ukianza kushuku mtu ye, watu wanaenda kwa hii nyumba, wanatokanga, na unanga watu wakiingiza vitu huku, but you don't know. Wewe sema, let the law enforcement wacha watu ama watu wa nyumba kumi, wacha wakuja wangali unafanyanga nini. Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu, mm -hmm. if we don't do that, Terrorism has no face when you're but, but now, but before we get into the, 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 the even the community angle, mm -hmm. looking at the family level, the family level, is it possible for a father and a mother to know it from the, 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 the child? Yes. It is very possible. It, yeah. you, it's basically being involved in your child's life. Know where they are, know what they're doing, know who they engage with. I'll give you an example of, uh, in the Muslim community, children go to madrasas. Mm. As a parent, you need to know what this child is being taught. Because, mm -hmm. for example, 
you you've left it in the hands of these people, these educators, to actually educate your children. Even in Sunday school, mm -hmm. you could find children are being taught the wrong thing, mm -hmm. and then they adopt to it. Then another thing, in a child's mind, it's very malleable. It it's it's like a sponge. Yeah. You can shape it the way you want. But yeah. but but then you won't. The, the child at some point mm -hmm. uh, complains that you are overprotective, that you are on their case. You know. They'd rather record, say you're overprotective and overbearing, yeah. but you save them from so many harsh realities of life. They'd rather say that. So follow up. It's follow following up, up mm. be involved in your child's life. Be involved. In fact, even in marriage, know what your wife is doing. Know what your husband oh, is because doing. Because it's not it just children, be, even exactly. our spouses. It could be that close. <laughs> yes. Mm. Wow. Yes. So even even your spouse can be inducted. Exactly. And, and maybe even not... try to mm. lure you into the um, violent extremist groups. Okay, okay. Yes. And, and, and now let's look at the different uh, 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 areas um, that such things are, uh, are prone. Do you have any specific area that uh, they normally target when it comes to radicalization and, uh, and, uh, and, and extremism? Where do they go to when they want to know that we want to recruit I don't know if they have their season of recruiting um, money, but <laughs> what they do yeah. is target vulnerability uh, vulnerabilities. Yeah. For example, um, they will come to you just like a fascist. They'll come to you and say, "Oh, you don't have money, or you don't have a job, or look at what your government is doing." So at that time, they're trying to plant a seed in you of hate, but you and, may think they're exclusion. Activists. Exactly. Until some people are actually duped into it. You find yourself in a certain group and you didn't know. And you didn't even, you didn't find out um, what this person does, who he is. He's just come with gifts. And, it's, and those gifts are just for that time. By the time you're getting to maybe being in Al-Shabaab, you'll find out that there are no gifts, there's no money, there is no, basically there are no prizes. The only prize, the only prize that is there in joining violent extremist groups is death. That's the end game. And so mm. they target vulnerabilities. For example, um, that another example could be um, conflict-prone areas. And uh, for example, in Somalia, mm -hmm. that's where you'll find them there. Okay. Uh, for example, even in Congo, you'll find groups like ISIS have already started coming in. Mm. Yes. And uh, vulnerabilities are, the, are what they target the most. But, but, but then how do they pick out who is vulnerable and who? Who is not? Uh, I'm really interested in finding out mm -hmm. um, their their targets and 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 and, and because is, is it is it a one-on-one -on -one thing? Is it a group thing? Mm -hmm. How do they do it? Uh, in the past, during the time of Makaburi and Rogo, mm -hmm. they used to do like direct recruitment. Mm -hmm. They have like normal, normal madrasas, but then there are special madrasas where they actually radicalize young people. And mm. many young people are, were unfortunately recruited through the Al Shabab uh, using by Kamakaburi and Rogo. But then nowadays, there's even like online radicalization, which is rampant. There, okay. are, there are so many, like, the, these what, WhatsApp groups. Mm -hmm. There are so many, and sometimes you don't even know what people are doing or what they are talking about. But then when it Mm -hmm. But then when it comes to now the recruitment process, they are going to study your vulnerability. Like you as Ram, what, is, what are your issues? What are your insecurities? Yeah. You want a big car? That is what we want. That is what we are going to promise you. Mm. You, want, you want a job that pays you 300 million? That is what they are going to promise you. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, they will, not, they will never give you that. They are going to make you believe that what you are going to do for them is going to give you that and many more rewards. Mm -hmm. And now, now, what do we do as a community? What do we do as a family? We have to come in between and intervene. Mm -hmm. You have to see these signs and, and know, like, it's like when a child comes to you with a, with a gift, eh, ah, nilipewa na nani? Nilikuwa na, nilikuwa na nani? Yeah, yeah. Wobe yeah. kama mzazi, unafaa kuuliza nani ya napatia kama nani ya litua wapi? Ya litua wapi, mm, yeah. Yeah. Mtu na, like, kusema mtu, mtu wapatia yu, like, your six-year-old, no, like a 14-year-old, mm. amnunulia simu ampe. Anampatia na intention gani? Yo si mzazi wake, like, be very concerned. Anampatia ndiyo ajue nini ya maafanya nini. Hmm. So, is, 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 is it like a, 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 a bribe? Si. 
uh, ni kuentice ni ku uh. attract ndio anza kuona yenyewe ni kama mtu ananipenda ni kama anaweza ni provide ya yeah. but sasa that mm-hmm. false hope at him to can take care of you they will look after you they will look for you mhm iyo watu mm-hmm. wanatakanga especially even in our teen in the teen in teenage years mm-hmm. you want that identity unataka kila mtu akwa whatsapp pia unataka kwa whatsapp kila mtu akwa snapchat unataka kukuwa hapo mm-hmm. na kama if your parent cannot provide that for you kuna watu wanatafuta wana, wana hata si walikuwa una, mtu anakuambia eh by the way ni anaonanga hata unanga simu simu yako sije ni kabambe na umeshikanisha na blada lakini na hapo unajua life nayo ni ngumu lakini lakini sasa mtu yeah. akikuletea ati iPhone ati lakini of course there is a catch there is a catch eh anakupatia simu 1100 ndio ufanyie nini there is a catch kuna kitu anataka na wewe kama mzazi wewe kama kama like a, a guardian of that child wewe kama a community leader wewe kama a religious a religious um, figure to that child unafaa kujua ametoa wapi amekuwa na intention gani but, but 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 you see i am i am interested also in finding out because we are, we are talking about how to notice it from mm. our people mm. and uh, you're saying um, they always target the vulnerable yes. and you should notice when there is a change in pattern but now when it comes to vulnerability the society has different classes of people True. we have those who from the high end and the of course the uh, the, the, the other side can the reach also be radicalized yes um, vulnerabilities are relative to individuals and that's why um, in the process of radicalization you classify them into two parts mm. there are push factors which drive you into radicalization and there are pull factors which attract you to radica- to being radicalized okay let's let, let's let's yes. define these two yes. push and pull push and pull yeah So push factors are uh, things like uh, let's say something that would drive you into radicalization would be something like um, maybe employment. Mm-hmm. So you're seeking employment. Yes. Then a uh, pull factor would be you're seeking a sense of belonging. Okay. You seem like maybe society is not feeling the way you're feeling. Mm. So these guys come to you and say you know what we have a brotherhood brotherhood and they call it a brotherhood yes. and, then, and then you start saying and yeah, i have found somebody who feels exactly how exactly feel. so understand me i have a sense of belonging when i go there so that's how they attract you uh, mm-hmm. they they attract you into it but you might find out that what you were trying to seek or what they were selling to you is not it So most most um, individuals who join Al Shabab mm. at some point get very disenchanted in terms of they were promised something they go there and just they find something totally different but, it's but they, these are now rich people now, can the rich be, 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 be pulled into it yes you identify with their ideologies their extreme uh-huh. ideologies for example you know there we watch a lot of action movies a lot a lot i think sometimes i i, I do and then maybe much. maybe even to a child <laughs> action is really um attractive yeah. but when you go there and it's now action this is reality it's death you want to change your mind but it's kind of too late because you're already there so maybe you're trying to seek ways in coming back to society again mm-hmm. so that's why you'll find their push factors and pull factors mm-hmm. okay. relative to individuals Oh. because what you need mm. is maybe not what i need uh-huh yes and to add on to what mike has said mm. it's like the gap between uh, yeah the rich and the poor and the educated and not so educated mm. nowadays terrorist groups are looking for people like doctors and uh, um mm. engineers people who are actually beneficial and are going to be, to be an asset to them i i think i watch too much movies chemists Yes. <laughs> exactly, yes. Yes, you're going <laughs> to be <laughs> engineers, <laughs> even engineers. Engineers. We're talking about like a lab that can generate and then the, the, the big boss comes with the sound. Sasa au ndio watu wanatakanga. Si watu watatu wajasoma. Na sasa wakikurecruit mtu kama huyo, you know you have the brains and mm. probably the money. Watakutafutia tu njia, watakwambia hata tutakuletea. We are going to give you a wife, we're going to build your house, we're going to do blah 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 blah. Na eventually watu wanaanguka university students tunaona mtu ame amesoma umesomeshwa vizuri you are working a good job 
that is what we saw when uh, unfortunately during the attack ya uh, ile university Garissa university yeah, Garissa yes 147 lives come to from coming from a person from that region alikuwa amesomea UON so you are thinking yeye na yeye na yeye na yeye na the other attackers mm-hmm. they were herders their communities were identified walikuwa wanachunga ngamia huko yeye amesoma na hao wajani na hao wajasoma if you think about those those gaps you know waki recruitiwa mm-hmm. different mm-hmm. tactics were used for both of them mm-hmm. can you you are our litumi wa pengine waliambiwa eh tutakupatia pesa tutakupatia nini wow utaacha hii maisha pia taambiwa nini probably i'm going to buy you a helicopter and you going uki you know travel and cruise around the world does that that's politics also play a role here politics politics of recruit, recruitment you know i kwangi ni politics politics ina kuanga ni sasa wanaziitanga ni regime they mm-hmm. don't uh, like westernization or, or, or that yeah that's what they call it westernization yeah. but cultures change to may develop we are not we are not living like we were, we were during the, like the pre pre independence time mm-hmm. what walikuwa naishi communally kwa kwa hearts life yeah. was communal mm-hmm. lakini sahi with uh, westernized with modernization with uh, the age of social media and digital media mm. vitu zime change of course things have changed over and over and over even our cultures even our beliefs zinaendanga yeah. ziki get better and better mm. na sasa if we don't adopt to these changes ukianza kuona every new change ni mbaya itakuwa ngati like you get sick you're told to go to the sick hall you wait to to get healed go to the one well, they call them uh these local doctors clinics no see clinic wala wa kitambo oh. medicine men go to a medicine man yeah. go see them but right now like we have hospitals mm. na sasa even the like groups like al shabab are going to attack these hospitals kwa sababu naona like modern medicine is not good good uh, like it's not good enough for <coughs> it's western as they will call it oh. and it's not good enough yeah. so that that is why they attack such places mm. because it's not good enough they don't they <laughs> but sina saidia lakini wao hawaoni hivyo unajua mtu ameambiwa like this is poison hakuna kitu kingine inatokanga hapa awa 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 wanafanyanga tu hivi yes um, i would go to your point on politics the way politics would probably play a, poor, a part in this mm. not directly like from a politician or anything they target government mm-hmm. for example al shabab have a problem with our government because we are in their country but we are in the country to protect our people from them mm-hmm. from their bad influences because you will find that their influencers in uh, sorry their sympathizers mm-hmm. al shabab sympathizers in our country mm-hmm. and even there so so, so 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 technically they just don't like something the government is doing yes they, they are against government mm-hmm. well in somalia al shabab think they have a divine uh, calling to be the rulers But okay. we know in mm-hmm. modern times you have to hold elections it's not by force mm-hmm. so that's that's how politics could play a part in it now now um what do you do when you s- suspect that somebody could actually be uh, 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 radicalized or they is they're in the process of mm-hmm. being radicalized how do you raise an alarm there step is uh, once you identify the signs of a person who is being radicalized you as an individual try to intervene try to come and uh, go to that person and tell them you know i have noticed you're doing abcd mm-hmm. which is not right you used to do this you used to be friends and no lo- you're no longer associating with us then if that if if they do not listen to you escalate the issue go to their parents go to their to a guardian find a community leader so that they can approach it from there mm-hmm. If that is not working like keep moving and trying this soft approach that you want to try and mold mold him and pull him back so that he can relearn the proper ways of society Outer potea Outer potea Unataka kunatokea umemshtaki kwa mzazi alafu hivyo unapotea Hapa unajua ni una ukienda kwa mzazi haumshtaki ati ati oh nani anafanyanga hivi no unaenda kumwambia eh by the way kuna naona naona fulani wa fulani siku hizi anafanya hivi siku hizi hata afanyangi 
alafu namwambia lakini nashuku ni marafiki wake wenye amepata siku hizi mm-hmm. wanafanyanga hivi ni okay. notice so you have used that approach of course mzazi hata yeye ata, ataanza kukusaidia ataanza ata, ata intervene atake kukutoa kwa au marafiki kwa hizo vitu zenye unaaminia hizo mbaya mbaya mm-hmm. and, and, yes. and ladies and gentlemen this particular conversation is very important and if you really look at your society and your neighborhood where you're from you will realize that it's actually happening right under your nose so if at all you have any questions in regards to this particular issue here ask them we are here to answer your questions and of course the hashtag is power talk show at ram maguko and that y254 channel bring in your questions about this particular issue because it's happening right under your nose and you don't know it okay so uh, uh, coming to you what do you do you've realized somebody is uh, being recruited mm-hmm. how do you raise their arm she said go to some person of authority mm-hmm. a parent mm-hmm. a guardian you mm-hmm. know some, somebody who you feel uh, uh, can keep them or can keep them accountable Cindy? yes all right it's now as re- radicalization is a process the opposite is also a process this person now has mm-hmm. come to into terms with ideologies that are not acceptable in society mm-hmm. well in the larger society because even them they have a society mm-hmm. so you try and bring them back to bring them back home i would say bring them back home um talk to people of authority if now by the time you're trying these soft approaches and they don't work now that's when now the law enforcers come in like the police yes like the police mm-hmm. because one of the people that are very dangerous in society are, are violent extremist uh, sympathizers because they they don't have they don't even have to go to Somalia to fight or anything like that yeah. they can recruit others and that is why al- people like al shabab uh, target the youth but, but, but now um mike yes. and uh, hannah I, I love what you guys are saying mm-hmm. and it is very good it's very good it's mm-hmm. splendid but there's some people when you know, some parents or mm-hmm. some guardians will say nimesikia umeingia kwa hii kundi wewe unalala kwa cell leo you know the parents <laughs> and they will tell you kwa nyumba nani and they will take that person to the police immediately which i feel can make things worse mm-hmm. sendio that is why that is why now you're talking to them you're telling them look i need to and i need you to understand this situation you don't you cannot approach it with an iron fist because cannot. yes because you're drawing them further okay so you need to actually talk to them as a person that you love and tell them okay um i don't know how you ended up here okay. but i need you to let me understand Usiende na Fujo. The thing is by the time this person has been radicalized, he's angry now. Yeah, yeah. He's angry because maybe he's angry at government, he's angry at society, he's angry at other Muslims who are not accepting this ideology, this extremist ideology. Mm-hmm. So you need to really really come uh. at a at a slow pace uh. so that you make him understand that religion is not murder. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. And 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 and, and uh, I I love the fact that uh, <laughs> you're saying it doesn't need an iron fist. <laughs> Some parents. Umesikia ti mtoto amvaa nini? Kujumba nani? First things first, lala chini. Yule kitu kwanza. Kweli. Si ndio? Yes. I, I want to take a short break. No no, look on that I want to take a short break okay. and then we'll be back. After this uh, break, we want to find out now that you've realized somebody has been radicalized they are already in they are inside how can you remove them mm. because hapo hivi tumeongea kuhusu mtu mwenye ako in the process mm. something is happening mm. how can you remove them from it and how can somebody who's already in this te- te- uh, terror groups come out is it possible yes. can it be life threatening and of course these are coming up after this particular break in a bit keep the hashtag going the hashtag is power talk show on twitter at ram aguko and that y254 touch channel we are taking a short break we'll be back in a bit y254 imagine 
This is Power Talk. My name is Ram Aguko. If at all you're just joining us, uh, we are just now for the, for the uh, next part of this morning conversation. And we are talking about uh, countering violent extremism and radicalization. Let me just get, get to Facebook on our page and see what, what uh, and just sample a few of your feedback. I see this is um, Odiwa Manyuru and I'm watching live from Mwembe show Ikomoto. Santa Sana. Samuel Ngugi anasema Kayole Naivasha uh, uh, watching. Uh, Louise Molipi anasema anatutazama, enjoying the show. And then uh, Jacob anasema, we don't care about these things. We do need to care. And, 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 and that's why we need to talk about it. Eh? That's what yes. we, that, why, why we need to cover this particular conversation. Because actually, many, you know, many people don't, care about, don't care about these things. Anasema umeingia sishidako. Sahi, watu wataki kuongelelea and it's something that is there <laughs> ni kitu iko na tusipo yongelelea yes. how do we raise awareness how do we stop it from happening how, how, do, how do we stop it? kama uno, kama unashuku mtu ama unaona mtu anaenda the wrong way kama hauta yongelelea ugaidi ni it's a very top, ni topic in approach yangu na pole pole watu wataki kuyongelelea mm. juu they are thinking you're going to offend them ama utatuma wakuwe targeted <laughs> But time has come for us to speak out. Yeah. Time has come for us to stand up for what we, for what, for our rights and for our freedoms. Because we, we need to talk about these things. Eh? It's true. I and by standing up. Hmm? We need to care because you need to be your brother's keeper. <laughs> you need to be your sister's keeper. It could be your mother. It could be your father. You know. So you need to care. You need to care. Yes. Mm. And, and, and that's why we need to talk about this particular mm. conversation. Counting violent extremism and radicalization. The hashtag is Power Talk Show at Ramaguko and at Y254 channel. Engage with us. Keep letting us know where you're watching us from. Okay. So um, ladies and gentlemen, I want us to move to the next part of this conversation. But before that, we were talking about what to do when you, see, when you realize somebody is being recruited into it. Um, I want us to finalize uh, uh, on, on that particular part. Um, uh, what if it is your partner? Because we touched on a child, Sindio, mm -hmm. and we said you should not be violent on them, don't go with an iron fist. What if it is your fellow partner so, and, and, or, or an agent of, or, of some sort? What do you do? Uh, when it comes to our peers, yes. there are ways you can actually approach them, whether a romantic partner, whether a, a just a friend. Mm -hmm. So the the way to approach this is by now start trying try as you are trying to move them from uh, from their negative beliefs, mm. you want them to see what is better and what society and what life has to offer for them, the hopelessness that they have, the vulnerabil vulnerability that made them join these groups. You want to address it from the mm -hmm. root cause. Let them make you understand what happened, what led me to do this, what is leading me to do this, and what and ask them what can I do to help. But 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 then again, I'm asking myself this: many will go with the approach of victimization. You say, "Unajoka kitu nafanya si po, ibu na mimi bora nafanya." It's um, you try and you start by trying to understand why they join, and then now. Uh, start breaking down these ideologies that they have, these ideologies that mm -hmm. they've started picking up. Exactly. And exactly, start yeah. telling them, uh -huh. do you really think murder is, is allowed is a in religion? Because you've, for example, you've joined Al Shabab, hypothetically, you've joined Al Shabab, and now they're telling you to kill people. What religion will tell you to kill, honestly? Mm -hmm. That's how you start now trying to bring them back to goodness. Mm -hmm. basically because it's some some twisted belief. yeah it's twisted it's basically what they do what al shabab does is twist a religion of peace which is islam and make it something so hateful and what they do because when they start recruiting you like we had talked earlier mm. they will target your you know your weaknesses and not everybody has your weakness I could have a certain weakness, so they, they start channeling that, it, they start channeling into that. So you need to just slowly yeah, yeah, explain yeah. to them that the ideologies that you're picking up are really not for the good of society. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, 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 I love that. I want us to move to the next thing. Um, you have a point to add before you move to the next thing? Okay, all right. So I want us to move to the next thing. And uh, we talk about somebody who has now already been recruited. They are mm -hmm. in? Yes. And I don't know if they have their own, they, uh, they, they, they do have their own regalia. Yeah, they have their own regalia that they wear. 
mostly robbed, mostly stolen. That is what they dress in, but then they have their... Uh, if they yeah. don't have a uniform, they steal from other security forces agencies. Lakini kuna sasa ile wanaji identify nayo like normally al shabab they have like a red bandana and uh, with, with with writings on it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Eh, but kuna kwanga na those vitu zinaweza wa identify ati kama wao ukiona hii mm. unaweza jua ni wao. Uh-huh. Eh, uh-huh. they have a flag by the way. Then a flag. They have a flag. It's a black uh, with um, writings, white writings, mm-hmm. Arabic writings. Mm-hmm. So that's basically every time you see a propaganda video made by extremist groups that's how you identify them with they have a certain flag mm-hmm. yes. all right now um so when 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 we are um okay somebody's in mm-hmm. and of course what you said is just one particular group mm-hmm. there are so many other groups that exist yes terror groups yes. not just al shabab we have al shabab we have isis we have boko haram, boko haram. Mm. no there's there's so many yeah. mm. somebody's already in is it possible for them to come for them to come out and and how can how can that be done yes it is very possible uh, we ha- we many people have defected from these groups they have stopped associating and have run away and denounced their membership to al shabab mm-hmm. In cases in Kenya, in Kenya in particular, the government has some amnesty programs. Mm-hmm. There are NGOs which are running amnesty programs for ex ex Al Shabab militants. Mm-hmm. They are based. We, are, we see them based in, in in urban centers, but then they operate. The venues in operate need to ku reintegrate those members to come back to society life. Mm-hmm. We have worked with groups in Yetumeona wana wana tuambianga we do this sisi kama there's a group in Majengo we work with mm. wana tuambianga sisi we have all been affected by terrorism mtoto wangu alienda bwanangu alienda things of this sort but now kuna weng, kuna wenye wana kuambianga alienda lakini sasa mimi that was, that was not the end of me i had mm. to move on i have other children I have to take care of them so what do i do tukakuja yeah, pamoja yeah. we mourn together Mm. Through that morning wameza hata ku, ku rescue wa mama wengine walikuwa wa recruited wa forcefully recruited wanarudi wakirudi huku wameza Laki... wameza kuwa re de radicalize wameza okay. kuwatoa kwa hizo juu what the experience are sometimes like ukitoka especially for women when you to work na wao mm. utaona like mtu haizi lala as lalo siku because they have they are always fearing guns and shootings and the attack lala it's just nightmares the trauma mm, is real mm, ukiwaona mm. the trauma is real but, but they need psychological counseling yeah. yes and now these groups like the ones we work with mm. wanakwanga na hizo they have that support system yeah who they say like, they give you they will give you counseling they will reintegrate you they're going to give you like what i could train ones that could you like these skills and you just want a source of living and through that what wengi wame people have been able to ata wana dina wakijuanga hey kuna hii group by the way na kuanga hapa majengo mm. wacha nitaenda ni wa join mm. ukienda wa join unawaambia yeye mimi nilienda somalia mimi nisiko anajua ni ili tuma and they will reintegrate you but but, but they, they don't look for you again <laughs> you know it's, it's, it's like you, you you joined us and now you are leaving us so you have to look for you because oh. uh, you are a traitor they would say that yeah. they would uh, by defecting they would call you a traitor but um, think about it what they sold you at the first time is not yes. what w- you went and got so you've been lied to yeah. you'd rather escape the vile, the um, you'd rather escape death and mm-hmm. come and earn the little that you can and still save so many lives and still live with a society that will love you and appreciate you now can somebody who is not in these terror groups remove uh, somebody who is in terror groups yes they can actually we have right. seen people intervene mm. like on be, there was a woman we worked with yeah aliyeza ku intervene mtoto wake alikuwa anaenda kabisa kabisa they were sure and how unaona they alikuwa alianza kuona akajua yeye huyu anaenda na anaenda na anapelekwa how are they sure Eh? <laughs> like Ali, you know even the it was the brother the uh. brother to the to the to the to this boy who told the mom mom nani amesema anaenda soma somalia hey. mama umekasirika 
hujamuona asubuhi aliamka akaenda kwanza anza kumtafuta kwa na miguu akaona hiyo that one is not working and akaenda kwa chief akaenda kwa police station ku report missing person and ulete picha kumbe mtoto alikuwa ameambiwa atatoa picha zake kwa album alishatoa picha aliambiwa atoe naende nazo na alitoa zote anything isipokuwa zile tu akiwa mtoto why they like you know you when you're in infants you've not grown and developed so it is easy to place you yeah so ali alibakisha tu hizo picha zake akiwa tu mtoto hizo mm. zingine zote akimea nini wakaenda nazo so what this woman did she went to the school akawaambia eh ah ile picha mnatuishanga i need it mtoto wangu ameenda missing So now the woman was able to save her child Juno just of course in akuanga umeanounceo kwa radio there are so many community radios like in Majengo umeanounceo mm-hmm. kwa radio yeah, can you come yeah. over na tunajua you know come back we love you you have to we, those are that is how now you mitigate Juno jua ana akoshua ukoshua naenda do what is possible make a report as early as possible mm-hmm. ndio intervene kwa sababu wakikuch wakisema wanakupeleka Somalia si ati wamekwambia leo tuwakupeleke kesho hapana wanakutoa hapa wanakupeleka hapa unajua mahali huko hapana wanakutoa hapa wanakupeleka mahali pengine oh, they, they cover your face not necessarily but they're going to confuse wanaweza but hata wanaweza ku move around here here like even in the centers of like kasi oh. ndio na ku move around just to wakuonesha hujui kitu mm-hmm. na hujui mahali huko mm-hmm. so that when they take you there you cannot uwezi uwezi juu kwa wapi wow. Uh, wow wow and, and, and mike i love i love this conversation it's 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 interesting it's an eye opener yes. to many of us yeah. um before I, i want us to move to the next thing what is our role as the public we've we've, we've come from the family level mm. we've, we 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 have distinguished mm. everything now mm. what is our role as a public and uh, including media mm. or when it comes to this particular fight against uh, you know, extremism and radicalization mm-hmm. let me start with um, the mic i'll start with media mm-hmm. basically like what we are doing here is making um, terrorist uh, terrorism aware to the public this is real this can happen to anybody mm-hmm. that you know uh, in terms of public we need to maintain vigilance for you know if you if, if you see a certain bug that is left in the middle of town mm. uh, unattended to you need to get the, the the nearest police and find out what this is it could be an explosive mm-hmm. so that's the role of media v, uh, the role of the, the public, public yeah. maintaining vigilance mm-hmm. at all times yeah as uh, media you actually make aware of this for example the person who uh, texted you and said we don't care you should care you should care because it it could affect anybody mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. um westgate affected so many people uh do see too affected so many people so you can't say we don't care okay. it's mm-hmm. actually here with us mm-hmm. and it needs to be prevented and countered yeah yeah, yeah. yes mm-hmm. uh, to add on to what mike has said mm. the role of media as he has said is to raise awareness and create as much awareness as we can not only when terrorist attacks happen mm-hmm. not only when but even before during like what we are doing now nothing has happened there is not a terror, terror attack but we need to keep this conversation going in our in our media and in our in all the platforms in mm-hmm. all the mass media platforms and social mm-hmm. media platforms mm-hmm. that way people are going to know how to respond during terror attacks mm-hmm. they are going to know and be able to identify the early warning signs of somebody who's been radicalized they are going to identify what what might happen and how 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 can you do how can you mitigate to it if you see something suspicious they are going to be able to the media the media is going to be able to raise that kind of awareness where people are going to be willing to report suspicious activities mm-hmm, mm-hmm. because the media med, at media what ndio macho like the local people ndio everybody ni macho ya serikali ni macho ya security mm-hmm. unless terrorist a terrorist attack hits you huwezi jua na say probably you're dead mm-hmm. Na unfortunately ukikufa utatusaidia aje na pengine ulikuwa unajua mtu alikuwa anafanya hivi. Kerubo Ombese is asking are there women taking part in this? Yes. 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 That yes. is yeah. why we are here. I am the organizer for women against terrorism. Now, now um, l- 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 let's get there. 
lenga ugaidi na talanta yes ya pale mm -hmm. na ulisema you'll tell us more about what that the thing is all about yes, and then we have women against terrorism let's start with that because that is connected to the question of uh, our viewer women they get involved with this uh, in the recent past al shabab has been recruiting women you people security agencies are uh, they are the women are very less the hours kwangi suspected ato kienda kwa security check mm. mara mingi they are told we peter <laughs> so <laughs> and to my honor na yo bag wanapita na tunayo wanapita tunayo na women carry heavy bags unashanga umebeba nyumba ama nini kumbe there is something wameingiza huko ndani kuna kuna vitu wameingiziwa hapo ndani umeambiwa we peleka hii bomb utunivukishie boda what is what is women against terrorism all about this particular organization uh, women against terrorism is a program of epukogaidi organization mahali mm -hmm. organization yenye tumetoka mm -hmm. we are targeting and uh, raising awareness for women to prevent and be on the first on the forefront mm -hmm. to prevent terrorism and violent extremism okay and how uh, how we are doing that is we are we are creating programs mm -hmm. we are encouraging women to to speak out and observe and be the, the first line of defense kwa sababu as yeah. a woman as a mother uh -huh. it is easy for you to spot these signs utaanza kuona yenyewe mtoto aende vizuri uh -huh. so before that happens before mtoto akwe wa serikali that is over 18 where you your role as a woman ni uh -huh. umemlea vizuri unampati unamlea with the right virtues with the right values for society with love for humanity ndio naye by the time ako 18 anajua ku ku differentiate between, between what is right and wrong yeah yes yeah, yeah. because women play a role we can prevent this from happening we can we, we are very capable na ndio maana tuliona our unfortunately the power of women has always been underlooked especially in terrorism mm. na before we like the government is going to deal and security agencies but are deal with those the fully blown terrorists mm. watch us see watch us see as women to prevent ndio we shut down that pool of recruitment for these terror, terror, terrorist groups yeah, kama yeah, hawana yeah. to recruit mm. the group is going to dwindle down uh, to to die down pole 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 too mm. yeah. exactly uh, lengo gaidi na talanta yes what is that all about uh, lengo gaidi na talanta is a program by epuko gaidi organization mm -hmm. uh, where we f we just make um terrorism and violent extremism mm. are aware to the youth because the youth are the most susceptible to violent extremism. Yeah. What we do in this program is we have um, competitions, a competition where we'll give you a certain topic, for example, um, individual responsibility against violent extremism. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we encourage submissions, submissions in terms of you make a short film that is five minutes, Okay. Um, you can also make a music video, which is uh, more than, it shouldn't be more than five minutes. Mm -hmm. And we also encourage spoken word and poetry, which also shouldn't be more than five minutes. So mm -hmm. if you take that, um, that topic mm. and, and turn it into a film, mm. so mm. depending on who, who caught the, um, the topic most mm. or best, is the one who's going to win mm. and okay. uh, yes and uh, we have we we have been there for five seasons mm. and um we've we've actually um made an impact in society all right yes and uh, uh, you, you, so that is what the i'm seeing on, on your yes on the your camera is the actually basically when you are submitting a certain um thing you've done yeah. film music video it should be accompanied with video ah. so that at least when somebody sees it on social media mm. they could relate to it and be like wow this is actually happening i should actually even make my one of mine and submit and, and, and do you also make videos as uh, as as a uh, epical uh, guide uh yes to sensitize youth okay so yeah. yes if you go to our twitter handle you'll mm -hmm. find so many videos mm -hmm. that are encouraging youth mm -hmm. to be always vigilant yeah. against violent extremism. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, and um, uh, should I think women do women also take part in it? Um, yes, they do. Do you have partnership? Because I'm seeing Lengua Gaidi in Atlanta, women against terrorism. Yet all under Ipuko Gaidi. How yes. do you, you know, synchronize them together? Our projects and activities at Ipuko Gaidi are.
data are target based mm -hmm. for women against terrorism we are only we are only targeting women for lengo guide in atalanta we target the youth age age gap between 18 to 35 okay and then okay. under 12 mm -hmm. we have a, a program called next gen so that way we are good we are we are we create now as he said that there are some short videos we do documentaries mm -hmm. we do some films all meant to raise awareness against terrorism and violent extremism mm -hmm. and all right. uh mm. yeah all, all all meant to raise awareness against terrorism and violent extremism mm -hmm. and now now for us as uh, a pro guide we encourage as many submissions as possible for this year alone we were we were targeting the horn of africa region mm. And uh, fortunately, we got submissions everywhere. From <laughs> it was it was targeting Kenya, okay. Somalia, yeah. Uganda, Ethiopia, and Djibouti. All right. And they all participated because this is this this terrorism has affected all these countries. So what do we do? We need to raise regional awareness because it's the same group that is attacking. We need to raise awareness in all these five in all these five countries so that we can fight it together. All right. Yes. Thank you so much. I, and, and, and of course, a big thanks to each and every one of you that uh, tuned in today. Um, I want us to just look at uh, more feedback. I'm seeing uh, Nancy and Asama enjoying the show, loving this particular conversation. It's an eye opener. I want to be a, a very big thanks to uh, Nangunwa. Sante sana Nangunwa. Uh, this is uh, Mark and Asama enjoying the show, watching it. Interesting conversation. This is Rono and Asama. I love the show. Rono keeps El Alfonso. And some enjoying the social. Thank you so much. Uh, 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 thank you so much to Edu Kwa, hey, Quanches Boy. People love interesting names online. You do you. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, thank you Asana. for having us. How can people find you on social media? Uh, for to find us on social media, go to uh, the, our website. It is at mm -hmm. We are there. We are on all social media platforms, all Twitter, right. Facebook, and right. uh, Instagram. Asana, asana. And also, if you want to reach us, call us through <coughs> through the number 0770-886-246. Mm -hmm. Say it want again. 0770-886-246. Mm -hmm. Call us, SMS us. If you have programs, if you have projects you want us to partner in, we will be there. Mm -hmm. Because right. the, we need to, to work together so that we can be able to address terrorism and violent extremism. Right. Michael, 20 seconds. Have a final word in regards to this particular conversation. Um, public, maintain vigilance. Maintain vigilance at all times. If you see something suspicious, say something. All right. Yes. Asana, that is Michael, of course, uh, uh, helping us in this particular conversation on uh, 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 fighting violent extremism and terrorism. The Michael Kimondo and uh, Hannah Mukami from Women Against Terrorism and, of course, Lenga Guide in Atalanta to my extreme right. Thank you so much for coming and uh, keep doing what you're doing. All right. Sunday, Sunday. That brings us to the end of this um, uh, uh, conversation right here on Power Talk. And as always, I would like to end with a quote. And this is a quote by Majid Nawaz. Of course, he said, and I quote, I believe that preventing radicalization is far more efficient than, re, uh, than de-radicalization. Meaning, stopping someone joining is a lot easier than trying to pull someone out once they have joined. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Power Talk. My name is Ram Maguko. Let's keep, let's be vigilant. Let's fight rad radicalization and extremism. Right here on, on Power Talk, I want to say thank you so much to each and every person that ensured this show was a success. A repeat of this show again airs tonight at 10 p.m. May God bless you. May God bless the work of your hands. My name is Ram Aguko and this is Power Talk. <laughs>